Man, I missed y'all. I missed y'all. I missed y'all. All right, y'all. I missed y'all. Welcome back to another video. We about to get into this lace, this new lace, this okay, and it's HD pre. We just about to get us into a nice little bust down the middle, middle. Y'all say a nice little bust down the middle, middle partitia. Okay, uh, giving a little shoulder curly. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bali Shiana. So here's the HD lace front that I'm using. This is after the knots have been bleached, but nothing else has been done. No plucking, no customizing the lace besides the knots being bleached or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our foundation. Um, I just put it on the back of my hand and rub it on my brush. And then I buff that all the way into the lace. Um, you could use lace tint. If you do use lace tint, the lace tint I recommend is the Taylor Crowns lace tint as well as the True Match Lace Conceal. These are the lace tints that I've Ooh, used that have gotten better. the best result out of. And boom, look, she looked just like Scout with the makeup or the lace tint. I didn't use lace tint this time, but boom. The makeup, oops, excuse me. The makeup got her right, okay? So now we're just about to get into Hold on, y'all. I have to get y'all zoomed up, focus, visual of that lace. Okay, honey? She's giving scalp. Okay? She's giving skin scalp before I even put her on. So, we're going to put her on. Okay? Boom. Set her on the top of our heads. Uh, get her positioned right and centered. Pull her back up off our foreheads a little bit. Okay? Because she's too far down. She's touching the brow. Um, and I'm basically just about to position that where I want it. Make sure the lace comes from ear to ear. Um, make sure it sits how I want it. To, I want it to sit. Boom. So we're going to cut this lace in three parts. See, my head is crooked. Yeah, there we go. That's given. So we're going to cut the lace in three different places. So that it's easier to lay down. And you really need to follow whenever your hairline curve like that. Hopefully it curved like that. I do got a nigga hairline, so it might not. But once your hairline curve like that, that's where you need to cut it. Because that's, you're going to do, boom, she mama, boom, lay her down. And then you're going to do, boom, she mama, boom, lay her down. And then you're going to do the other side. Okay? So let's do the other side. Boom, she mama, lay her down. Boom, she mama, lay her down. Period. Boom, like that. Boom, like that. Corvette, Corvette. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna have to make my own middle part because my head lopsided as a bitch. But, or is it the lace is lopsided? No, my head is lopsided. Okay, so now that we did that, all right, bye. Now that we did that, we're going to peel this motherfucking muffin cake bag blue. Or green or whatever. We can do green for the holly jolly holidays. Boom. Peel the muffin cake back green. Okay? Make sure you peel the muffin cake back enough. Okay? You should be able to see all whole her line. And then... Anywho. We get into the Erica J. Hold Me Down Watermelon Lace Adhesive. Okay? Because that's the tea. Oh. So, I start in the center and I go to the curve and I do the same on the other side and I just dot, 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 dot so that I control the evenness in the layers that I'm putting down. All right, y'all. Y'all see how much glue I'm laying down. You need to have at least an inch of glue down, okay? At least an inch. It needs to be at least an inch wide. So that e that way, mama, 
it's gonna stick okay it got a lot of stuff to stick to and you need some on that cap and you need some on that scap okay period and that's just how i go Notice how I'm letting it dry clear every time. That's how you get it to be seamless. When it's clear, you can apply more. If it's still a little white, don't apply nothing. Let it be all the way clear, okay? And also, um, dang, I forgot. Hold on. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what it was. When you are doing this, you want to make sure you wipe off whatever you're using, whether it be the end of a rat tail comb, the end of an edge brush, a comb, whatever. Whatever you're using, a spatula, whatever. You need to wipe that off every time because you don't need that residue from the last time you put it on there to be getting on there. Okay? Wipe it off every time with alcohol or a wipe or something. Not just water though, because water ain't gonna take it all off. But alcohol or a wipe or something. Because otherwise you're gonna have old hair particles and old glue stuck in the new glue that you're trying to lay down. And all of that is gonna interfere with the land. And then right here, um, you just see me smoothing out any white spots that look a little thick. That kind of helps them dry a little clearer, a little faster. Spreading that back out. And I'm going to add another layer, y'all. I'm not about to make y'all watch how many layers I added. I added five or six. I don't know because I've deleted some at this point in the time where I'm editing it. But I usually at least add five. All right, now that she's giving dried clear, you just pull that lace right on down. And you're just gonna place her into that glue. And you make sure that she is laid right in all areas as such. And then I take my edge brush because I like to do it in sections boom like such and you just press the lace into the glue I'll do the sides first then the center 
Okay, so y'all see me pressing it in. Boom, boom, boom. Press, press, press. Um, and then y'all see as I lift it, there's like areas where I can go back in and add more glue um, to lay the front of the hairline down. I usually like to do it that way anyways because um, this method, like with cutting the lace and putting it down separately, it just leaves room for correcting of errors. Cause once you put it down in the middle it's down okay like that's just that on that but here we are um about to lay the final side down okay and i didn't talk y'all through the last one so i'm gonna talk y'all through this no i did talk y'all through it i think i don't know what i did okay we're not on that part we on this part so yes it's drying clear and we just gonna take the lace okay and we're just going to pull her right above where that adhesive is, okay? And we're just going to hold her there. We're going to get something to press her in with. And we're going to press her, okay? And you see how I'm pressing that inner corner in? I added a little bit on the inner corner um, to press those corners in together. See that? Boom. Y'all see that? So that way it's attaching. Okay. And now I'm taking this elastic band around my edges to hold that lace in place okay while i blow dry it a little bit and i'm just putting right putting it right over the hairline okay she already given scalp and she didn't even cut and melt it to persuasion yet okay we ain't even we ain't even got her there she's just giving a little bit of scalp ish okay and once we got that on and in place, we're just going to take our blow dryer to the hairline. Um, I blow dry for up to 10 minutes and then I secure with another scarf and let that sit while I do the styling process. All right, so now we're going to cut the lace. And what, you, what I do is I just drag my scissors along the hairline, um, not in a straight line and kind of like a jagged line. Um, while also pulling the lace down because that allows for it to release better without like ripping or tearing the lace. Um, and I'm just going to do that along my entire hairline, <coughs> just cutting along the hairline. And then I go back and clean up afterwards after I got the general big pieces cut off. And now I'm about to go in and part off my ear flap, okay? So I'm just parting off everything that goes behind my ear and cutting everything that doesn't go behind my ear. Does that make sense? Like, boom. You see me put it behind my ear, and then so I'm just going to cut off all of that extra material that is right in front of my ear so the lace can shape around my ear. I'm going to go in with some more uh, lace adhesive and, <clears throat> excuse me, lay my ear flaps down and all of that extra lace over there that's lifting. I'm also going to go ahead and finish all the areas along my hairline that need to be finalized and laid before I lay it down, okay? And I mean lay it down for real. So I'm just pulling that lace up and seeing everywhere it's lifting and adding more glue.
Period. See how that just laid down right into it? Okay? Look how that just melted right into the forehead. It ain't even been melted in person. Yeah, yeah, it ain't even been all the way done, y'all. Period. 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 I know. Now I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer again just to heat that glue up and really let it attach, attach, okay? Let it attach and hold and mold and become lovers and friends so Osher, John, and Luda can go ahead and do it again, okay? All right, now that we have all parts laid, we're going to go ahead and part out some baby hairs. And I'm going to just part out a little bit along the hairline okay not too much never too much um and i'm also pluck along the hairline a little bit too because like i said i never plucked this i don't know if i recorded it or not because i know my camera went dead but if y'all see it y'all see it if y'all don't y'all don't because i'm gonna do it in another video anyway so boom parting off the baby hairs and then i'm gonna put that um elastic band back on and the scarf and hit it with the blow dryer some more and get to forming my part and stuff boom actually i lied to y'all so we got that first part party now we're gonna go in with the high comb and she is on high okay and we're gonna press the legs into the glue okay press her down into the glue okay to make her attach heat her up and press her down heat her up honey and press her down you see how already that's looking better okay She's already giving us a blend that we never seen before. Get into her. Um, now I'm also going to go in and hot comb the hairs that I parted out to be my baby hairs down. Just to get them going in the way that they're supposed to go. Um, and completely separate them from the other hairs. And I'm going to keep doing that on all sides. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? Yes, to the plucked hairline. Plucky Shiana, plucky Shaniqua, plucky Isha. Okay? I understand why I clicked on everywhere and you know, I connect to my internet. All right, so now for the plucking, y'all just going to have to watch. Um, when you pluck on your head, you're going to want to hold the lace in place where you're plucking it just so that it doesn't pull the lace up um, because it is melted. But pulling at it before it's all the way melted and I haven't taken the, dry, taken the dryer to it for the last time is going to cause it to lift a little. And you don't want no space in between that glue and that lace, okay? No space in the lace. No space in the lace. Don't forget, no space in the lace. Now for the styling part, like I said, we was going to do a bust down the middle. So we busting her down the middle. 
Right now, I'm just parting my hair and then using the hot comb to move the hair the way that I'm parting. Um, and I'm trying to get my middle part as straight as possible. Um, so, yes, 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 yes. We're just doing it until it gets straight. And we're going to use mousse also to form it. Um, and I would just like to say that I did minimum plucking and my hairline still don't really look thick, okay? But anyways, yeah, we're going to use mousse to form it to get it to lay. But right now, I'm just uh, putting the hot comb through everything. And then I'm going to pluck my part a little bit to make it apart and not, I don't know, to make it, you know, thinner. Thin it out a little bit so it can look like a part. Um, and I'm going to keep parting it, keep plucking, keep parting, keep plucking until I like it. So now I'm going to go in with my mousse of choice and I'm going to put it on that hair right there along that part and, and I'm going to press it in in the way that the hair is supposed to go so that it knows which way to lay and I'm kind of combing it through in the back just to make it lay right and then I'm going to hot comb it all over to flatten it out and make it more form to my head so a little better you know look, look, you know so it look a little good or whatever you know what I'm saying. Notice my lace still look a little ashy. Don't worry about it. We about to tone it with some foundation. Obviously, if you use lace tint, you will use lace tint. But we just going to put it on the brush and kind of brush it into the lace um, to tone down that white tone that's on the lace. Because all lace gives a little bit of ashy tone because it's not real skin. So you just have to bring more tone to it. And that's why I don't apply too much on the back of the lace because I like to finish it up with what I apply on the front. Okay, and now we're going to get into the baby hair. So I'm going to just cut off um, the long, a lot of the baby hair, cut off a chunk. I always um, cut, I always don't cut enough so that I can go in and fix it while I'm shaping them. Because otherwise, if I cut too much, then obviously y'all know the spiel. Just cut, cut less than you need to cut so you can go back and finish it. Okay, boom. Uh, my camera died right here, so I don't have this footage, but here goes well, we got to do the lace reveal. What are you mount? Bring them out. It's a vlog. No, I'm just going. But I did my hair on camera. And now they got to see the lace. Uh, Boom. Period. Heavy on the lace reveal. You fresh, huh? Heavy on the lace. Hey. Heavy on the melty sheet. Nah, I'm not oh. putting nothing on yet. Heavy on the melty Shaniqua. Okay. Oh. Period. Oh, go That's the lace. Y'all see the lace? Mmm. Y'all see the lace? Per. Per. Say it, Candice. Per. Period. 